video was brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. For the best gameplay capture out there, pick up an Elgato capture card today. Links in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another 2025 career mode video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Granit Xhaka. Yes, this very highly rated central midfielder for Switzerland, currently playing for Borussia Mönchengladbach, is definitely a very, very high and very talented prospect. Yes, this young Switzerland central midfielder, currently playing for Borussia Mönchengladbach, has been having a pretty decent season, and he's obviously very decently rated for a player of his age. To be only around 22 years of age and still have an 80 plus overall rating is a big tick. He has absolutely elite passing and vision, plus shot power as well, can let one fly from distance if need be. Unfortunately, one of the downsides to Shaka's game, and it is actually quite a big one, is his absolute lack of pace. Some of you will probably already know that, and for those of you that don't, you'll see what I mean in a second. So let's look at the stats then. 82 overall, like I've said before, and again, there's that pace. 48 acceleration, 54 sprint speed. It's absolutely shocking, but he's got great vision, aggression, stamina and strength is okay. Ball control is good. The long passing and the short passing, he's got better long passing than his short passing, which is uh, pretty interesting, but still, he's got, again, great shot power, long shots as well, so like I said, can let one fly. Not great finishing, but can definitely has definitely has some very good long shots on him if he gets to space. 22 years of age, 6 foot 1, got a bit of height to him as well, a power free kick trait, a long passer trait, and the long shot taker trait, of course. No specialities, but the potential of 86. And if you are one of those people that is not too discouraged by a lack of pace as much as others, then maybe you're worth giving this man a bit of a shout. But let's see if his pace can get any better. In the first season, we don't see any growth. He's gotten older. He's 23 years of age now in bad form, content morale, and it doesn't look like any attribute has been indicated to have gone up. So nothing physical, mental, or technical, and then especially overall. So there we go. It's a bit of a dud, it's a bit of a dud season. Can we hopefully go about getting a little bit of redemption in the second season? Just any little bit of growth will be immediately way better than the first season. But as we scroll down, we see this time we do get that little bit of growth. It's all in the mental though. Aggression now in the 90s. Vision still 89, although I'm, I'm at, or 89 now, very close to getting in the 90s. Hasn't been indicated, but I guarantee you it's gone up. It's gone up. Attacking positioning and interceptions. He's got fantastic mental attributes, don't get me wrong. Physical wise, could get a bit better. And again, technical wise, uh, he's, despite having great stats, could get better. But unfortunately, none of those attributes have been indicated to have gone up, and I don't think any of them have. But moving along now to the third and final season, we just want at least one plus one to his overall. That's all we want, Granite Shaka. Can he get it to us? He can get it to us. Finally, a plus one overall increase, and all of a sudden, you look at the form, you look at the morale, that's taken an absolutely gigantic spike up in uh, uh, his good form, very happy morale. And again, the only stats that have gone up are the mental attributes. We only see mental attribute growth this time. No increase to pace, which is a bit of a downer. And if there is any increase to physical or technical attributes, it's very minor and has not been indicated. So this has been a pretty poor start, to be honest, from Shaka in the first three seasons. He has time to turn it around though, and I hope for his sakes that he can, but the time to find that out is right now. Let's go all the way to 2025. So here we are, 2025 with Granit Xhaka. I know that this man is capable of getting to that 86 potential. The first three seasons were a bit of a disappointment, but it turns around right now. What's his rating in 2025? I told you he could get to that 86 potential, and hell, he's gone even, but he's gone even better than that. 87 overall, 32 years of age. The pace, that's immediately the first thing that I'm looking at, by the way, just, just to put that to rest. That is the absolute same as it was right at the start, and we still see the mental attributes going up by a little bit, even though attack positioning and interceptions has gone down. That time, we see ball control going up, long shots up in the 90s now, short passing and long passing is absolutely sensational around the mid-90s, and every single stat that he has in the technical area, in anyway, is at least 50 or higher. The finishing has been improved a little bit, but not by too much. He definitely has some of the best mental attributes. I don't know how many people really fully appreciate how good mental attributes can be for a player, but he has some absolutely sensational mental attributes. You don't normally see every single one of those at least around the 80s or higher, so that's very impressive. He really developed the technical attributes in the end. The pace obviously didn't get much better, neither did many of the physical attributes, but that was the only downside to it. In the end, he got to his potential of 87, or should I say of 86, and went past it to go to 87, and there we go. That is Granite Shaka. Thanks for watching another 2025 video guys don't forget like and subscribe if you haven't already and of course leave in the comments down below any other plays you'd like me to do and until next time have a good one bye bye